Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn how to create a hoodie model. The main knowledge point in this lesson include hoodie sewing method, hoodie hat production method, and a hoodie reproduction method. Okay, let's start today's lesson. First, open the style 2D software and select file. Let's import the DXF file. Click open. And after the pop-up dialog box, directly click OK. Next, let's import our style picture. Select File, import the reference, select the image, and then click Open. Then let's add our virtual model. Let's select Resource Library, Mole Metal Model Folder, folder. double-click Virtual Model, and after the dialog box pops up, click OK directly. At this point, the virtual model has been added to the origin of our 3D window. We double click the virtual model and change the hair to none and then the skin to Kevin with underwear in the property editor window. Let's do the, twi the tweed arrangement again using the select move tool. Select all the patterns from the top left box and press and hold the left button on the pattern. Drag to move it above the virtual model and right click on the location ball in the 3D window and then click Reset 3D Arrangement. Using the Select Move tool, hold down the Shift key, box Select All Symmetrical Patterns and right click Symmetry Pattern with Seam. And then we move the cuffs to the position close to the sleeve. It makes it convenient for us to make 3D arrangement later. The front pieces are placed together and the back pieces are also placed together. Then select the hat rope, click Ctrl plus key on your keyboard to disable pattern. Let it not participate in the simulation and collision. We will find that the failure state is purple. Next, let's do the 3D arrangement. Click Show Arrangement Point. Fox select the front piece, and I'm going to show the placement points. Right click to rotate it, and then scroll wheel to enlarge it in order to adjust its position. Right click to rotate, and then let's select our back pieces, and click the position of the arrangement points. And then let's again right click to rotate and adjust the position. Okay, now let's arrange our sleeves. Notice that this is the front cuff curve and this is the front cuff heel diagonal. They are corresponding and we frame the sleeve and cuff. Click the location of the arrangement point and adjust the positioning ball and be careful not to penetrate the model. We can boot it down a little bit. Then adjust the positioning ball and OK. Let's put our cuffs separately again. Select the cuff and drag it. Be careful to not penetrate the model. And then the other side of the sleeve, we can right click to make the symmetrical patterns. The cuffs are the same. OK. Let's go ahead and arrange the hat also. Go to the right side and you can hold down the wheel and drag it to go up. Select the capped piece and click on the position of the arrangement point. Drag it up a little bit so that we can observe the sewing thread later. Right click on the capped piece to make the symmetrical pattern. Next we will arrange our hem. Let's rotate to the left, select our hem pattern and then click the arrangement point on the left. Let's also adjust its position. Okay, now that we have all the patterns that have been placed, we can click record to add clothing record. Make a note of where we are at this point and then click save project on the file. Save our current file and input the file name. And then you can hit save. Okay, so let's go ahead and sew. Again, using the select move tool to separate the patterns so that we can sew them later. The same operation will be done later using the free sewing tool. 
Then click the starting and ending position of the first group of lines. And then select the corresponding stitching of the second group of lines. And as above, in addition to sewing on the second screen, we can also rotate our 3D screen. The sewing operation in the 3D clothing window is the same as above. On the other side, we can hold the shift key, click the start and end of the first set of lines in sequence after selecting. And then release the shift key and hold down the shift key and click the start point and end point of the corresponding sewing thread. Next, we come to sew our shoulder, shoulder slash. Click the start and end of the first set of lines. And then click the start and end of the second set of lines. For the shoulders diagonal on the other side, we can sew directly in the 2D format window. Hold down the shift key and then click on the first set of lines. And then release the shift key. And then again, hold the shift key and then click on the second set of line that correspond to it. We can click N on top of the keyboard to switch to the segment sewing tool. Sew sleeve and rotate the 3D clothing window to observe and click on the two thread you want to see in turn. Note the direction of the sewing arrow to be consistent in the operation method of the other side so that it's the same as above. And hold down the roller drag, it's sew it again. And then... Sew the side seams of sleeves in the sleeves and cuffs. Sew the side seam of the cuff again. And then use the free sewing tool for the large body and bottom hem. Click the start and end of the line and then press and hold the shift key to select a group of lines corresponding to it. Sew the side seam of the bottom hem and then sew the hat. Rotate to the back and click on the start and end of the hat. And note that the end position is at the middle point because we need to fold the hat later. Then hold down the shift key to select the corresponding set of lines. You can rotate through the clothing window to observe the other side. Operation me method is the same as above. Then select the first set of lines directly. Then hold down the shift key to select the corresponding set of lines. Then sew the middle of the cap. By this time, the sewing has been basically completed. Use the Select Move tool to box select all the patterns and click Ctrl plus H to harden it in the space key to simulate. At this time, our clothes has been basically sewn and we're going to observe whether there is any sewing error. Click 2 on the keyboard to go back to our front view and then use the Select Move tool to box select all the patterns. Press Ctrl H to remove the hardening. Let's make some adjustments and then stop the simulation and record our state at this point. And then let's save our project file again. Next, let's adjust the physical properties. First, use the Select Move tool and box select all the patterns. Then let's reduce the particle distance to 8. Click the Enter key and press the spacebar to simulate. At this point, you will find that our fabric becomes softer. Click the spacebar to stop the simulation, and then let's do the hat again. Enlarge the hat pattern, and also in the 3D clothing window, hold down the wheel and then let's drag it down to enlarge it. Select the cap pattern, right-click the mouse, select straighten and press the spacebar to simulate. Okay, click the spacebar space bar to stop the simulation, and then use the trace tool to outline the folding line in the middle. Select the line and then hit enter and rotate the 3D clothing window and use the fold arrangement tool to select the inner line in the middle and fold it. Do the same as above for the other side and be careful to not pull on it. Okay, now it's folded. So we're going to use a segment sewing tool to outline the rest of the interior line using the same method as above. And then use a segment sewing tool to sew the inner thread in the edge thread using the free sewing tool to sew the inside side of the hat. We're going to sew the bottom as well. Shift plus a hide to hide the virtual model and then press the space bar to simulate. At this time, the hat has been processed. Let's click Shift plus A to display our virtual model again. And then click two on the keyboard to return to our front view. 
And let's adjust the fabric in the scene manager window. Select fabric and double click the fabric. And let's add a texture image. And so click on the plus sign next to the texture image. Then select texture and then click open. And let's also add a normal map. Click on the open after after importing, we will find that the fabric texture of the clothes is too large. You can check fixed scale and other parameters in texture, parameters to adjust them. At this time, we will find that our texture parameters have now become normal. Next, we will enlarge our reference image. Use the color box tool to draw our colors and then we can adjust it to match the color. Click OK, then copy the fabric. And then double click the copy fabric and click the color box. Pop up a dialog box and select a straw to suck in another color. Now we will find that there is no display on the screen. So you can cancel this operation and then select the copy fabric and drag it down directly. Drag it to the location where it needs to be added. Double click on the fabric and then let's change the color. Now we can notice a no noticeable change and then let's adjust it and remember to watch as you adjust. And so after the adjustment, click OK and then select the fabric to copy again. Double click the copy fabric and then let's drag it to its location. And then double click again to delete its texture map and normal. Select the fabric library and add the fabric normal map. Select cotton and then select rib and then click OK. At this time, the rib normal map has been applied and we can roll the wheel to enlarge it and then press and hold the wheel to drag it. So check and find the wrong fabric application at the sleeve. Then select the second fabric and drag it to the sleeve. And similarly, the same operation is applied to the hem of the cloth. Drag the rib fabric and then find the texture of our fabric is not obvious. So let's double click on the rib fabric and then check the fixed proportions and let's increase the texture parameter. Click enter the rib and now it has been processed. So let's select the fabric to copy and modify the color. Click OK and then drag it to the other cuff and be careful not to drag it on the sleeves. Next, let's adjust the thickness of the fabric. So use the select move tool to select all the patterns and then change the extra render thickness to 3.5 and click enter. At this time, we'll find that the fabric thickness is not displayed. So we can click on cloth thick and now it has a certain thickness to it. We can select the cap pieces and right click to release the hardening. And then let's press the space bar to simulate. Click two on the keyboard again to return to the front of the viewing angle. And now the physical properties have been adjusted. So select records and add clothing records and then save the project again. Next, let's get into the details of the hoodie. So first we're gonna use the select move tool, double click the virtual, mo virtual model and then press the space bars to simulate. In the property editor window, to switch the model's pose, we're going to change it to an eye pose and then right click to rotate to go to the side and pull the hat off. You can click two on the keyboard to go back to the front and then let's slightly adjust the shape of the hat by dragging. With the simple adjustment done, let's click record and add a record of the costume and then save the project file again. And then we're going to adjust the front pieces. So hold down the shift key, select the front pieces in the bottom hem, and then right click on the set piece, select strengthen, and then press spacebar to simulate. And let's adjust the position of the patterns that way. So when you're done, right click and then select the unstrengthen and then quickly press the spacebar to stop the simulation. Using the fix pin fix to adjust the position, press the Q key on the keyboard to switch to the select move tool. And we will find that there will be some irregularities on the other side. So we can use the select move tool and drag it a little bit. Then make the adjustments again as you have just done. 
So we're going to harden it, then unharden, and then after the adjustment is almost complete, let's use the fix pin to fix on the other side as well. So just simulate drag, stop, simulate drag, stop, and then fix when you're happy with the position. Right click the blank space and then click show 3D elements and hide the pin. If you look at it and see it's not flat on the right, so you can right click the blank position and to display the clothing elements, display the fixed needle and then adjust it again. So let's select the fixed needle first, click the right mouse button and then select the selected fixed needle. Click the spacebar to stop the simulation. Use the fix pin to fix the flat position again. And then the spacebar simulates and adjust it a little. When we adjust it, we can roll the wheel and, enlar and enlarge it. And hold down the middle button on the wheel, drag the screen and adjust it. And then let's fix it with a pin again. Here we're just fine tuning again, like we really want it to be a certain shape. If it's difficult to adjust, you can still use the previous method. So hold on the shift key to select the patterns. Right click on the fixed ball and click straighten. Make adjustments. And the adjustment is almost the same. Just hold on the shift key, multi selection. Right click on straighten, quickly click the space bar to stop the simulation and fix it with the fixing pin. Okay, now at this point, the front pattern is almost finished. Click two on the keyboard to go back to the front view. Then again, select record and add the clothing record and click eight on the keyboard to adjust the back patterns. The operation method is the same as above. If you can't see clearly, you can also drag the screen by holding down the wheel to enlarge it. So we're doing the same at the, at the back. Dragging to adjust, unstraighten, stop simulation, and then after the adjustment, use the fix pin to fix. And pay attention, instead of attaching the pin to the sleeve, you want to attach it to the back. So right click to delete the selected fixed pin that you don't want, and then use it again on the right part of the back. Let's do the same on the other side. It can be fixed directly with a fixed pin. And once you're done, hide the pin as you did before and let's see the effect. There are still some irregularities here, so you can show the pin in the same way that you hit the pin. And then select the fixed pin, right click and delete them. And let just redo the process again until you're satisfied. Let's make adjustments. Drag, 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 very slow, slightly, and click the spacebar to stop the simulation when you're done, and then again, the fixed pins. So now we have basically finished adjusting the back as well. So let's click two on the keyboard to go back to the front view. Select records and add clothing records. And then again, don't forget to save the project file. Okay, now let's use the select move tool and now we're going to adjust the sleeves. Scroll the wheel to zoom in, hold the wheel to drag the screen, scroll the wheel to zoom in. So go ahead and select the cuff and then right click and click the sanctum. Press the spacebar to simulate, shift plus A to hide the virtual model and then let's slightly adjust the shape of our cuff. It can be enlarged by rolling the wheel, don't forget. So press and hold the wheel to drag. Adjust the shape of the cuffs. Again, just slightly dragging little by little. And once you've rounded it up, right click, select freeze, and click the space bar to stop the simulation. 
Using the Select Move tool, select the cuff and drag it up. Then press spacebar for simulation. Okay, now the folds on the sleeves have appeared. Let's adjust it a little bit. And then when it's almost done, press the spacebar to stop the simulation. And then we're going to use fix pin here as well. So if the fixed part is found not to be smooth, you can also select the fix, fix pin to delete them again on the keyboard. Don't forget, just right click, delete. Here, our sleeves aren't quite round enough, so we're going to drag the pin and hit the spacebar to simulate. And then we're going to adjust again. Click the spacebar to stop the simulation. Fix with a pin. Let's drag it a little bit more and hit Shift plus A on your keyboard to make the model appear again. And click 2 on the keyboard to go back to the front view. Adjust it the way you did before, and when you're done, just deal with the symmetrical cuffs. Use the Select Move tool, right click on the cuff, and we're going to use Symmetry the Shape and right click to freeze. Press the spacebar to simulate the sleeves. And then let's also use symmetry to shape on the sleeve here as well and use the fix pin to fix, fix the side position. Press to simulate. Adjust, adjust, adjust. And then click to on the top of the keyboard to return to the front view. Scroll to enlarge. Again, just adjust the folds of the sleeve. Select the fixed pin on the sleeve, right click to delete. Fix with the fixed pin again, and the upper part is also treated the same way. At this point, we're done with the fixing. Don't forget to select the other sleeve and then symmetry the shape if you change something. Spacebar to simulate, and just keep adjusting again. All right. Once the sleeves have been adjusted, click 2 on the keyboard to return to the front view, and then let's click record, add clothing record, and then save your project file. Next, we're going to adjust the hat. So don't forget to roll the wheel to enlarge, hold down the wheel and drag it down to go up, and then let's zoom in on the area of the hat. Click Shift A to hide the virtual model. Press the spacebar to simulate, and then we're going to adjust it, the hat shape. Here, don't hesitate to drag a little more. And once you've adjusted it, select the other side of the pattern and choose symmetry the shape. Press spacebar to simulate. And at this point, the front of the cap has been adjusted. So we're going to use fix pin to fix it briefly. Let's fix, fix the area near the neckline as well, and be careful not to attach to other patterns. We're going to deal with the backside again, so use the Select Move tool. Select the pattern, right-click, and select Strengthen. Then press the spacebar to stop the simulation. And go to the side and look at it. And then just hit the spacebar to simulate again, and we're going to adjust it. Just adjust it, and then when you think it looks good, press the spacebar to stop the simulation, and then fix with a pin. Now use the Select Move tool again, hold down the Shift key, select the patterns, and right-click to select Unstrengthen and then press the spacebar to simulate. Now the hat shape has been adjusted well. So let's go over it again and work on the details. 
We check again, check, check, check. Right click to delete the selected fixed pin if you need to. Press the spacebar to simulate. Don't forget to add pins again after you're done readjusting and then click shift plus A to display the model and then click two to go back to the front view. Then click eight on the keyboard to go to the back. Adjust it again as you did before. And it can also be canceled if the location is not suitable. Click shift A to hide the virtual model again. Here the inappropriate areas are adjusted again, so click, click Shift plus A to display the virtual model while you're, when you're done. And click 2 on the keyboard to return to the front view. Use the Select Move tool, click Record to add clothing record. And next we're going to add the hat rope. So before adding, first use the Trace tool to select the lines we need to sew with the cap rope. Click Enter to outline it. Then use the free sewing tool. Click on the start and end of the cap rope. And then click on the start and end of the line. We need to sew it with it. Let's do the other side. The operation method is the same as before. So after you're done sewing, we use the Select Move tool. And then in the 2D window, box select the two cap rope patterns, move the set in the 3D window, and then let's adjust the radius pull rod, adjust the position of the hat rope again, and be careful for it not to penetrate the model. After the adjustment, box select the patterns in the 2D window, right click inside the pattern and select activate. Select the patterns again, and let's change the particle distance and reduce it to 8, and then the extra render thickness of the pattern is increased to 3.5. Use the fix pin, and then fix the bottom area in the middle. And then let's press the spacebar to simulate. Adjust the shape a little bit if you need to, by dragging and then remove the pins in the middle to make it look more natural. Right click, rotate to the side. Adjust the fix, in, fix pins below to allow it to sag naturally. And same thing on the other side. You can use the fix pin function and then select the fix pin, adjust the radius bar above the set piece. Then let's let the cap rope hang down naturally. Next we're going to add the metal on the cap rope. So click on the resource library, select trim. Click on Crawd fold Folder, double click on the trim, and the attachment has been added to the origin of the screen. Press the spacebar to stop the simulation, select the trim, and then click on the snap in the upper right corner, and click under the cap rope. Let's scroll the wheel to zoom in. Then select the trim and adjust the radius pull rod on the set piece. When we move it inside, we find that it is too small. You can click scale on the top right corner of the set piece and then let's just adjust it and adjust it width and height and thickness. Once it's done, select it, click copy, then select the copied trim, and then click the snap in the upper right corner and click its location. Right 
When you click the set piece again, you will find that the state is zooming. If you want to cancel the state, you can click scale in the upper right corner again to cancel the state. Then use the set piece to adjust the position. And then once you're done, hold down the control key, click on the two trims, change the color and the render properties. Let's change it to plastic. And now that we've added the trim, click on the keyboard to return to the front view. Let's observe if the garment is smooth and then click the right mouse button in the blank position. Click 3D garment visibility and hide the fixed pin. Click Shift A to hide the virtual model. Then click Hide Style 3D to hide our frozen state. Click 2 on the keyboard to go to the front view to see if the clothing looks natural. You'll notice that there's still a little bit of unevenness in the hat near the neckline. So using the Fixed Pin tool, select the Fixed Pin, right-click, delete the selected Fixed Pin, then click to above the keyboard to return to the front view. And now we'll find that the position of the neckline is still looking a little unrounded. So let's use the Select Move tool, select the cap piece, and let's reduce the particle distance to five. Click the Enter key to simulate. Press spacebar to simulate. Okay. Now the hat has been adjusted and the uneven areas can be adjusted a little bit more. So drag with the little hand. And then next we're going to add top stitch. So double click to the stop stitch. Change the margin to zero. And slide down to change the color. I'm going to take the color here. Click OK. Then select Enable Normal Texture, and there will be a pressing effect when adding top stitches. Just click on the location where you want to add top stitches. Okay, now top stitch have been added successfully. You can zoom in to observe. It is found that there is a pressing effect in this place. Click two on the keyboard to go back to the front view. And we'll actually notice that the cap rope is still a little off. We can select the fixed pin tool and drag the fixed pin in the simulated state. Then use the select move tool to adjust the middle part. Let's take a look and see if there are any irregularities and then use the select move tool again to just adjust if you need to. Okay, click 2 to go back to the front view. Next, we're going to export the pictures. So first, click the tool, click on 3D snapshot to change the size of the image to A4 paper. Check transparency. And then check merge Im images and select merge views. Let's learn how to change the views. Select the view you want to change. Once you have reached the desired view, click the refresh view in the lower right corner. For each perspective, you can adjust it individually. And after you achieve the desired effect of a perspective, click save directly. Okay, so if we open it up, we'll see that now we have our four views combined into one image. Let's take a look at the effect. Looks cool. That's it guys. I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please like, comment, and share this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.